Hello there, welcome to the video. This is the full playthrough of Sally Face continuing. Thank you for your patience. I know this one's taken me a little while to get out. A lot of other games came out that we were covering, Cult of the Lamb and so on, and uh, we're here now. So I hope that you enjoy it. Please do leave me a comment and let me know if you want to see the next part as well. All right, enjoy the video. Appreciate you. Episode 3. The Bologna Incident. The Bol... 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 Bologna. Bolognese. What if I were more than just a doodle? Eh, eh, doodle. Oh, I'm moving, okay. Hello? Are you okay? Okay. Is that a Silent Hill reference? Isn't that where the pyramid heads are from? Never played it. What's wrong with your friend? He sought the truth. The truth destroyed his soul. Please leave us alone. Your head will frighten the children. Wow, okay. Can you tell me your f where your friend ventured to find enlightenment? He traveled to the wise prophet beyond the fields of death. But a round head like will you, you will never make it. All right, headist. Are you okay? What happened to your limbs? Well, I never. How would you feel if I asked you what happened to your weirdly shaped head? I didn't mean to offend, I was... Go bother someone else. Head like a orange. Hello, miss. Don't pay any mind to my sister. She's been cranky lately because of the sun. Oh, that's your sister. She has a very deep voice. Yeah. Yeah. Allergies. It's no problem. Our ancestors were mauled by the great beast. Ever since our people are drawn without limbs. Sort of beast could do that. We do not speak of such things. If you want to know more, you need to seek out the oracle beyond the death fields. Mm, the death fields. That sounds like a friendly place. Are you the great beast? Ah, well, you too, friend. Ah, oh, sorry, don't pay me any mind. My temper rises with the sun. The great beast hasn't been seen for a hundred years plus. Do you know where the prophet is? You mean the crazy old hag who lives beyond death? Take that ladder down. It's always a ladder down. Call me a great beast. Hello? You shouldn't have come here. Where am I? A dark place. Is this the field of death? <laughs> and it's a rubber and uh, all of the like stick people being rubbed out. It's amazing. Horrible things happen when the sun burns out. Hmm. Okay. Scary. Intimidating. The Eraser of Doom. Are you... the Prophet? I am called many names by the sticks. Do you know about the Great Beast? It crawled through the Great Hole many years ago. It ravaged the sticks for decades, then was laid to rest by a magnificent explosion in the sky. Most believe the beast to be dead, though we know better than that. What is the Great Hole? <clears throat> Eons ago, we created a great hole in the papery fabric of this world. A hole that contains all the knowledge in the universe. How do I get there? What is the truth worth to you? Um, I don't know. Everything. Da, da, da. <gasps> the hole. Oh, Jesus. 
everything everywhere all at once vibes. Excuse me, Mr. Fisher. Sal, wake up. Uh huh? That doesn't look like math to me. Sorry, I must have dozed off. I already finished the test. I know, dear. You aced it as well. Very good. Just try to stay awake for the remainder of the class, okay? Sure, it won't happen again. Who's giving me the stink eye over here on the right? Bloody Stretch Armstrong looking head. And Mr. Phelps, eyes on your own paper. Hmm. <laughs> Class is almost over. Make sure everyone hands in their tests. Ugh, school. So glad I never have to go to school again. <laughs> These characters. Hey, freak. Nobody likes a goody two shoes, Sally face. Nobody likes a cliche bully, Travis. Don't you have something better to do? Shut up, bitch. I wasn't talking to you. You know, if you took that stick out of your ass, you may actually enjoy yourself for once. Maybe even make a friend or two. Off. I have more friends than you'll ever have. You kiss your daddy with that tongue. I'm sure he... <laughs> what the hell, asshole? Are you alright, Sal? I'm fine. Let's report that jerk. No, don't worry about it. We'll just make things worse, trust me. I've dealt with bigger bullies than Travis before. Sal, you're bleeding. I'm okay, really. Let's use my bandana. Wait, hold on, I... You can't... I'm... Oh. My. God. There. Looks like it was just a small scratch. Don't worry, you can hardly see it. Ah. Thanks, Ash. She doesn't mind my face. Dude, what happened? Was it Travis again, that prick? I'll kill him. Larry, I'm fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Sal's right. If we stir the pot, it could just make things worse. Not if he's dead. Then he'll probably just haunt the school. And we'd be stuck with that bonehead for the next two years. Says the group skeptic. You know I love you guys, but the ghost stories are a bit much. Even for me. So we're really just going to let this Travis thing go? It's not worth it. Plus, think about it. Who knows what his home life is like? He's got a lot of pent-up rage. There must be a reason. Very true. Very smart. Always, like, if you can, just feel sorry for people and think of it that way. If someone's, like, rude to you in the street or something, it's literally a case of, like, wow, you must be very miserable to take it out on a random person, you know? I'm pretty sure he's just angry they switched baloney sandwich day to tomorrow. I legit still don't know if that's bologna or bologna or bologna or bolognese. Bologna? I'm gonna say bologna. Bolognese. Bolo huh. Seriously, I've never seen anyone love the crappiest lunch day so much. It's like a prison meal. He doesn't even like pizza Fridays. Who doesn't like pizza? It's inhuman. Maybe he's an alien? That's all we need. Larry, I'll help you kill Travis when Sal isn't looking. I heard that. Ah, <laughs> oh, friends. Friends. School friends. A group of school friends. I was uh, had a group of school friends when I was a kid. We were the misfits. And had a little group of friends. And we were all the like the grungers and the metalheads and the rockers at school. And the nerds. It was like the show Freaks and Geeks. And everyone else was just a chavy tout. Oh. I'll skip lunch. What uh, what group were you a part of when you were at school, guys? And gals? Are you, um... Oh, sorry, that's my can. Were you, like, a geek, a nerd, a misfit, a rocker? What are you? What are you? Not that I'm asking you to pigeonhole yourself. I'm just curious, because I myself was uh, a grunger, as they used to call them. 
Um, does that baloney smell funny to you guys? I thought last week's was a little off-putting, but it seems to be worse this week. I think that was... I don't know which one's Todd. I think he was this one. It's been a while. I'm sorry, Sally Face fans. I got very busy, and I didn't record another episode, and I've forgotten who's who. I heard it's made from goat meat. Didn't a bunch of kids call in sick the day after Baloney Day last week? Two. Oh, no, Chug. This was Chug's voice. I, I remember now. Hey, you guys, don't ruin lunch for me. Please, it's the only good part of the day. Ooh. Group huddle. I'm in. Me too. Count me in. That's Todd. <laughs> have, have fun. I'm going to stay here with Chug. Who are you? We need to find out if there's anything wrong with this baloney. Maybe there was a batch of bad beef, or it's expired or something. Or oh, bad goats. I'm telling you, dude, this shit's funky. Doesn't taste like no beef to me. The product is most likely a blend of low-cost meat components from different sources of beef, pork, chicken, and or turkey. <sighs> Todd, man, you're making my stomach turn. This is like the hot dog incident all over again. Oh, I hope not. Sal might be onto something. There uh, could be an issue with the lunch meat. I'd like to take our sandwiches to the science lab. <laughs> See if I can find any bacteria or signs of expiration. It would be helpful to know what the exact ingredients are. Okay, Ash, you go with Todd. Help him in the lab. Larry and I will try to get more information on the baloney. Sounds like a plan. And we're in and walking around. Bum crack. Uh, 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 let's talk to this little mug. I thought I smelled trash. What are you flamers up to? Get bent, Travis. Don't you have some sandwiches to attend to? You're lucky it's baloney day. <laughs> I don't know why I gave that kid that voice, but... Hi, Kim. We wanted to ask about the baloney. Can you tell us where the school buys it from? Why you want to know about the baloney, eh? Something wrong with Kim's cooking? No, no. We were just wondering where it... You kids go and sit back in your chairs now. No more question. Do you think we could just see the package, or... No packages for you. Just butts in chairs. Go on. Well, that was a failure. She always seems so unhappy. I wonder why she stays here. It's like the kids make her sick or something. Dude, what if Kim's poisoning the launches? I don't know if this town has room for another conspiracy theory. I guess it's worth looking into. Why don't you see if you can sneak into the principal's office to look at her files? While you do that, I'll check in with Todd. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Ha 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 ha. It's Larry as he walks away singing. If you haven't already, please do hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already. We did recently hit 100k. I don't know what the next goal is. What else do you even celebrate next? 150? 200? Bloody hell, that'll be another few years away. But, uh, you know, you can help me get there. And also, you know, if you enjoy the videos and you want to see them, I guess that's the best way to do it, right? Is hit that subscribe button. Chuck says hit subscribe and like and leave a comment. Find anything? Not yet. Are we able to get the baloney ingredients? No, not yet. Where's Ash? She went to get some materials for me. I recommended she look in the janitor's closet. I thought she'd be back by now, actually. <sighs> Alright. Let's go find her. Into the janitor's closet. Which we call a caretaker here. Or we used to. Don't know what it is anymore. What's wrong? The damn closet's locked. I need something in there to test the baloney. I tried to pick the lock. I just had a thought that, like, if that's if this isn't actually baloney or how you pronounce it, then it's just another Julia Gulia incident. But here we are. Larry showed me, but now my hairpin's stuck in the keyhole. It's jammed up good. Could use some pliers to get it out, but yeah, they'd be in the closet or with the janitor. But he always leaves for lunch. I'll see what I can find. Thanks. In the meantime, I'm going to try and keep this out. Hey! Har da, da, da. 
visible in the tree. Already feels like this chapter is a little more expansive, like there's more to look at and walk around. You know? Teachers are in there eating lunch. Bloody teachers, eh? Any luck? Teachers are all in the lounge, waiting for the right moment to sneak by. Back in the cafeteria, toilets. The boys' toilet. Ah, always stinky, always filthy, eh? Anything in here? No. It looks so small in here. Banana. Oh, little, oh, my locker. Okay. Just some of my textbooks. Todd suggested I take physics this year, and I'm actually enjoying it. I've had this backpack since I started going to school. It's worn around the edges. A picture of us from Halloween. It was so fun. Are we the turtles? I think we're the turtles. I love the turtles. What's that? Oh, a paper clip. Maybe that'll work. Oh, I didn't find anything useful, I guess. This potato light thingy was a science experiment that Todd showed me in class. I'm surprised it's still going. Todd is never short on supplies for his inventions. I don't know how he does half the things he does. This guy's a genius. Not much of a surprise that Todd's locker is half filled with books. I really admire his passionate curiosity and hunger for knowledge. Todd and his boyfriend, Neil, are always so happy when they're together. That makes me happy too. Revelation. Alright, nothing in here there. Oh, this must be, uh, Larry's. One of my paintings. I was going to throw it out, but Larry insisted on keeping it. He said, great art doesn't need to be beautiful, as long as it conveys genuine emotion. And I feel their shit out of this man, I really do. <laughs> that sounds just like something Larry would say. I think that's an older drawing that Ash made. She actually taught Larry a lot of what he knows now. She's a great teacher. We may have never become close if it weren't for Larry. I love metal. Larry is this game's Eddie Munson. Larry's backpack. We've been through so much over the last two years. He's more than my best friend. He's family. If I could get that ball down... Then maybe I could just like throw it at the window or something. I don't know why. I was expecting there to be like a pop up, and otherwise, I would have just grabbed that before. Didn't realize I had to just grab things. There we go. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. I don't see anything. Neither do I. Maybe it was those damn birds again. Yeah, good thinking with that distraction, dude. I saw a file. Awesome. Anything to help us? I had to book it so I don't get a good look, really. If you can distract the teachers again, maybe I can just take it. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves by stealing it. Alright, you're the boss, Sally. So what should we do? Give me a minute. I'll think of something. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we need a camera or something? Ash makes these stuffed dolls. I think they're cool. She calls them little dudes. Some of Ash's photos. One's an older picture of her and Larry. I'm so glad I met these two. Ash's art supplies. Ash and Larry are such good artists. They try to teach me, but I'll never be as good as they are. It's okay. I have fun painting and drawing with them, and they never make me feel bad for not being good. Good. Camera. Take. Exactly what I thought we would want. 
knew someone had to be taking all those pictures. Use this camera. Great thinking, dude. Ready when you are. I feel like... Am I going to accidentally smash the window this time? Okay, I was going to say that would be just our luck, wouldn't it? What was that? Don't know. It sounded like it came from outside. Don't see anything. Neither do I. Remember mean, those birds. Okay. Tweet, tweet. The ambience out here sure is nice. Did you get it? Dude, the file's missing. What? How can that be? No one else could have went in there without you seeing them. Heh, <laughs> just jerking your chain, man. I got a picture. You butt nozzle. Let's take a look. Kim Yazzie. Born 67. Phone number. Lunch lady. Education GED. Amateur nature photographer. Kim has 11 titus, not contagious. She is sensitive. Make sure the other teachers know. Tell Kim to stop feeding the birds. Other teachers are getting annoyed. You got it, dude. I want to get some baloney from Kim. Front door. Throw it at the birds. Picture? Oh. Camera sim. Please don't jump scare me. Why do I feel like this is about to be a jump scare? What? <laughs> oh my god, there was a little moth that flew past and scared me. In real life. Where are the birds? Buddy, 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 but, but, buddy, 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 sweet birdie. Ah, oh, hello, mate. There we go. Hole. It was a house. Gotta get better at knowing my way around. Knockfell Pep Rally. Celebrate your school spirit. Oh, here we go. Go, go. I got something for you. What's this? A photograph of Birdie. You take picture, eh? Yeah, I took it for you. A small thanks for all the hard work you do. You're sweet boy, Sally. Thank you. I was wondering, can you tell me where the school buys the baloney? Why are you so interested in baloney for? I don't know what this voice is for you, but it seems to work. It's fine. My uh, friends and I really like it. We need to know where we can get some. It's local, made by Mrs. Packerton. 100% beef. She brings from farm once a week. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Here, I give you extra meats for bringing Kim nice photograph. Thanks. Now skedaddle. Oh no, what are we going to find on this meat? It's people. That would be too obvious, right? What else could it be, though? Oh, that's the wrong one. Science lab. The lunch baloney is people. The lunch baloney is people. Got more baloney. Perfect. Kim said it's made by Mrs. Packton. Oh, no way, dude. She lives in the apartments. How could she make her own lunch meat? Oh, yeah. I forgot she lives there. Hardly ever see her. Probably seen her in the building twice since I moved there. She tends to return at late hours. I believe she keeps multiple jobs. Teachers don't get paid as well as you may think, so it's fairly common. However, when Mrs. Packerton is home, she makes quite a lot of noise. It's peculiar. So what do we do? Should we ask Packerton about this odd side business of hers? Or are you boys going to do your whole detective thing? Heh, <laughs> ha, I don't know. What do you think, Sal? Let's do a little snooping before going to Packerton. 
I don't like the way this is playing out. If something nefarious is going on, it'd be best not to let Packerton know we're looking into it. Agreed. Good call, Sallow. Alright, why don't you and Larry go check out Mrs. Packerton's classroom while the teachers are on break? Todd and I will finish testing this baloney. Wow, 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 Larry, I'll need you to be my lookout. Wait by the door in case anyone comes down here. You got it? You got it, pal? You got it, Sally Face? She keeps her desk drawer locked. Do you remember how to pick locks like I showed you? Yeah, but there's no keyhole. The combo lock. Shit. How the hell are we going to get that open? Let me take a look. to six. Could it possibly be the pi thing up there? Three, one, four, one? Is she a maths nerd like that? Too easy, dude. Got it open. Nice one, dude. What's inside? Just a bunch of maths papers and... Hold on, there's a hidden compartment. As if you would just have your code up there and, like, the pie up there the whole time. Like, kids would try that even. Man, there's some freaky stuff in here. What is it? I'm not sure. <gasps> Crystals. Is she a witch? Crystals. They're actually kind of cool. I wonder what Paxton uses these for. Sorry, I was just looking around. There was a spider in my room yesterday, and... I, like swiped it and it disappeared like uh, it fell on the floor but I didn't see it fall on the floor I have no idea where it went you ever like try and hit a spider or step on a spider and they seem to just vanish into thin air it's like they open little Doctor Strange spider portals and then they uh, gone a bunch of papers with random notes and symbols scribbled on them <laughs> looks like they're written in another language why does she have a bird skull in here strange metal object similar to Jim's puzzle box it's another one of these metal boxes, like the... Shit. Is it happening again? Yeah, I... Hero, hey, 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 it's already over. But, never mind, let's go check in. Am I supposed to be able to read that stuff? Hey guys, we found some sketchy things. How are the tests coming? We're not getting any signs of harmful chemicals or bacteria. However, I think we can all agree there is something peculiar going on here. Whatever it is, let's not mention this to Chug for now. Poor kid almost had a heart attack when they stopped serving meatloaf. Yeah, Ash is right. Let's keep this under wraps. Well, I guess we know what we have to do now. Damn, I'm going to miss the action again. I have to watch Ben until my parents get home. Maybe I can help out after. Later that day. This summer. I'll need a few minutes to get ready. It ready. That's cool. I have to take care of something first. Okay, let's meet up in Todd's room. Perfect. Cool. Cool. Back in the apartments. Miss Rosenberg. Borg. Oh no, is she the... Oh no. Hello, darling. I'm Bits me again. I'd forgotten about you. Yeah, how could you forget about me, little old me, little Miss Rosenberg, eh? Oh, Rosenberg. Hello, darling. I'm gonna put you on my shelf, you little elf. What? Nothing. Hello, dear Sally. Uh, you sound tired. Are you okay? Yes, yes. Quite fine. I was just a bit distracted by my thoughts. You know me. Did you finish that book you were reading? I did. You seem to be enjoying it. What's wrong? You didn't like the ending? Most story endings are a lie we tell ourselves to create a false sense of hope. Ooh, I'm a little bit New Orleans this time round. Hi, darling. I got a little bit of a southern... What do you mean? 
There are no happy endings in real life, Sal. We all get the same terrible ending. Death. You can't know that for sure, Rose. And even if that were true, doesn't that make life even more precious? It's a... You gonna steal my land, you little punk? You little... You little... <laughs> no, sorry. It's our one chance to shine as brightly as we can before the long night claims us. That's why I try to live the best life I can, just in case it's the only one I get. Not for you, my boy. Huh? Oh, never mind, child. I admire your optimistic view of life. It's something I'd lost long ago, I'm afraid. Right, don't do the creepy thing again, okay? Take care of yourself, Sally. Thanks. You're unsettling after what happened in the last episode, honestly. What do you want, Sal? Just wanted to see how you were doing. I may be old, but I can take care of myself. Thank you very much. Good evening, Sally. How are you on this fine day? Hey, Mr. Addison. I'm good. How are you? I'm swell, young sir. Do you like the new sign? I love it. Thanks to you and Larry, it almost feels like I have my own little tea house. I do miss giving out tea to my tenants. However, I simply couldn't afford to keep up with that. Glad you like it. I think it's totally reasonable to charge for the tea. Everyone understands. That's wonderful to hear. Any new tenants? I'm afraid not, though we do have someone coming to look at a room next week. Hope is on the horizon, I suppose. I'm sure your luck will improve soon, Terence. I said good day, sir. Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, Henry Fisher, junk, junk. Hey, Sal Fisher, a letter to me, a no return address. An empty envelope. Hmm. I'll get Dad's mail later. Okay. I have an envy, em, em, an envy envelope. An en empty envelope. <laughs> I guess I go up. Larry's room. Oh, what's these? Lisa got a bouquet of flowers from someone. There's a note. It says, get well soon. Wishing you the best, Henry. Who's Henry? Oh, Jesus Christ. I made myself jump turning the stereo on. Oh, the music's still playing in there. Okay. I think Larry's in there, hun. Occup ah, occupado, dude. Oh, she's here. Hiya, Sal. How are you today? I feel like she should have Larry's accent, actually. That would make sense. I'm okay. How have you been feeling? Didn't the doctor say to take it easy? Oh, I'm just fine, sweetie. Don't you worry about me. Besides, we've got problems with the plumbing that needs my attention. Mr. Addison has enough on his plate to worry about. I can't keep lying around all day. Is there anything we can do to help? Dude, don't bother trying to talk sense to my mum. You know she's even more stubborn than me. Oh, hush, little there, bear. Lair bear. Mom, don't call me that. <laughs> oh, you love it. Anyways, I appreciate your offer, Sal, but I can handle a little plumbing work. It's really no problem. Plus, moving around some will do me good. If you say so. If you need any help, let us know. You got it, bud? <gasps> little lair bear. Come on, Larry. This is the thing you had to do. <laughs> Top floor. I wonder if I can still see the ghosts. Which room was it? Oh, 
there's a Ouija board up here. Even with the spirit board, Megan never comes out when Todd and Ash are up here. I think she's shy around strangers. Megan's necklace. Even though she can't wear it now, she's happy to have it close by. Okay. Oh, it's a bit dark in here. I wonder if this is relating to the skull in Mrs. Packerton's desk. That's a good idea. Is this where I left last time? Like a portal opened up or something? An old newspaper clipping. It's about a boy who shouldn't be alive. Survived an accident that killed both his parents. Front page of an old newspaper. Father and son get missing. Vanished without a trace. Leaving the mother broken and alone in what was once a happy family home. Woman and her child abducted by aliens. Has to be one of those joke papers. Am I the boy that went missing? Am I? I guess I'll just explore everywhere and then I guess it'll... Wait, do I have a quest actually? Meet in 202. Oh. It's my place. There's my cat. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sorry, Gizmo, I didn't realize you were in here. It made me jump. Why did it grab the screen like that? God's sake. Uh, what are you doing? I was just trying to relax in the bath, man. Sorry. I had a big uh, game release recently. I was the cat and stray. Oh, were you? Yeah. So now I was resting my pauses after, uh, you know, running around a cyberpunk city all this time. Okay. I'll leave you to it then, apparently. Sal, I had to go to work again. I'll be home late. Some leftovers in the fridge. Sorry, I haven't been available much lately. Maybe we can do something this weekend. Love, Dad. Daddy! Daddy wasn't there. No, I didn't. Something under the bed. An old photo of Mum. I thought Dad threw them all away. Hi, Mum. I miss you. Hope you're at peace. A handwritten note on the back. Henry, you're my sunshine in the darkness. I can't believe we're going to have a little boy. Wait, Henry's my dad, so he left Lisa flowers? Well, that's nice. I'm so unbelievably happy. Everything is perfect. Love you always, Diane. Aww. Dad's computer, but I don't know his password. Maybe I could figure it out. Hmm. Something to do with this? Was there any numbers here? An old photo, miss you. My sunshine in the darkness. Happy Diane. No. Diana's numbers, maybe, or something? Edward Shovelhands. Wait, what did I just pick up? Teacup. Gear yeah, boy. Okay. Meow. Meow. Anything else in here? Bam. Okay. Who's in here? The evil bread? I'm trying to put your posters back up. Robert! Who's Robert? Yo, what up, little bud? Not much, just a typical day. That bad, eh? Ha, <laughs> have you been? 
everything's straight, my man. I can't complain. How's business? Business is great. What is it you actually do? Sell crack cocaine. Oh. <laughs> nah. I'm just with you, bud. When my granddad passed, he left everything to me. Well, he was a millionaire or something? Nah. But it was enough money to start up a little business I had brewing in the old noggin. I tripled that money within a year. From there, the company just kept growing. Now I barely do anything. Just show up once in a while, check in, do meetings and shit. That's about it, though. Pretty tight gig. 25, practically retired. Seems like you worked hard to get there, though. Better believe it, I busted my ass till things took off. Just wish my pop was here to see my success. I bet he'd be proud of you, man. It's a huge accomplishment. Not many people could pull off. Thanks, little bud. It's with the safe. I don't trust banks with my money. Or any big corporations, really. Don't you own a big corporation? Well, yeah, but it's different. It belongs to me. Why do you live here? You could afford to live anywhere. Why live in this cheap apartment? I got all I need right here. Or do I need a big old house filled with fancy things? I can't take that shit with you when you're dead, right? It's just extra weight weighing you down. I like to lay low, live my life, do what I like, go wherever, whenever. No strings attached kind of lifestyle, you feel me? Yeah, I do. That's cool. I don't know what to do without my TV and video games, though. <laughs> well, you gotta do you, little bud. Everyone's different. Bye. Way? Nope. Oh, popped my keyboard thing off. Okay. Should I go this way? Wait, why is this all still like this? Have they not bothered to repair this? I still use that thing actually like when the creepy old lady thing oh my god I'm st I kind of want to try it on the old lady again but I'm scared <laughs> let me try it in here uh, I don't like it why did I pick this back up press shift activate by pressing R so wait do I just do that hello Sal Oh my god, is she talking to me through her neck hole? Hey, Mrs. Sanderson, how are you? I try to keep myself busy, otherwise I'll lose my mind. I fear I'll never be able to leave these dreadful walls. So I haven't seen any bright light or anything? Unfortunately, no. I don't mean to sound ungrateful, though, babe. It's much more bearable here without that horrible demon running around. It's just so terribly grim and devoid of hope. Kind of hard to explain. Sorry. Wish I could help you more. Todd and I have been doing a lot of research, but... Hold on a moment, love. Yes, right here, talking to me. Sure, yes, okay, I understand I will. Sal, I meant to give something to you. Who are you just talking to? I apologize, sweetheart. I gotta go now. Take care of yourself. But... Wait, what are you giving me? Was that my mum or something? An envelope. It's empty. What is with these empty envelopes? I can't even look at them. What the heck? Wait, did I try that other room? No one lives here. Okay. Is this that skinny dude? <laughs> Sad face. What are you ends up to today? I can't remember what voice he had. Never mind. Hey, David. Not much. Just got home from school. I thought you were on a break. College students are on a break right now, but our break doesn't start till the end of the month. Gotcha. How have you and Sarah been? Do you know, 
you know I suggest a couple of spootsies as happy as can be, right, babe? Are you talking to the mannequin? <laughs> oh, hun, don't make me blush in front of our friend. Love you too, babe. Oh, what's that? Yeah, Sal, we've been having some trouble sleeping anymore, you know, it's funny, but I think it's because those college kids are on a break. I guess we kind of got used to the noise they make. We only have a couple more days of break, so everything should be back to normal soon. That's great news, great news indeed, Sally. When in doubt, just go northern. Okay, college students are away. What's wrong? I keep hearing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's my that? No, there's my voice. I keep hearing creeping noises. There's too many bloody voices in this game, Sally. We gotta get out of here. Like what kind of noises? You know, creepy kinds like scratching and moaning and stuff. Maybe it's just mice in the walls or the building creaking. It's an old building. Mice! That's not any better. I bet it's nothing. You wanna hang out with me and the other guys? No, no, it's okay, thanks. I I can tell you guys are up to something again. Last time I came with, I couldn't sleep for a week. Oh yeah, I was supposed to tell you. Megan said she's sorry for scaring you. She's very sweet once you get to know her, but you kind of bolted right when she came out. I know, I mean, I bet she's nice. I tried. It's, it's just too scary. Well, if you don't want to be alone, you're always welcome to hang with us. I know. Thanks. I'm waiting for my parents to get home. I should have been back already. Got any chocolate? Chocolate makes me feel better. Oh! In my tummy! In my tummy tummy! Is anyone home? Could have sworn someone lived here. Another empty room. Oh, I don't like moving towards this area. It's kind of scary. Whoa! Oh, I don't trust it. Okay. Another letter. Empty. What is going on with these? I should probably just walk around like this. Probably missing things. Hey, oh, chug, chug, chug. Let's get this meeting underway. To hello, you two. Hi, Mrs. Morrison. Hey, Sally. You boys off on another adventure? Something like that. I think that's just so wonderful. Life's filled with potential adventures and beautiful mysteries that are just waiting to be explored and experienced. You're totally right. Yeah. Just gotta seize the moment. Sometimes it's nice to relax on the couch after a long day, you know. Ray and I were just watching some television and he passed out like a little baby. Isn't he the cutest? Sure, I guess. You guys don't have a TV. Yeah. Isn't it so nice without all the noise? Yeah. But I do think you've been hitting this thing a little bit too much there, or maybe just the right amount by the looks of things, I'll be honest with you. Uh, whatever your name is. Oh, bloody if there's a moth in here that is terrorizing me whilst I'm playing this game. Every time I'm trying to do stuff, man. Todd's room's locked. Oh, that was the parents' room. Are you ready? I've tapped into the security cameras. We'll be able to loop footage of the hallway till you two get back. Be careful. <laughs> My name is Todd. I'm hacking in. Sometimes my parents do a sin. They put a little do. Got it. Nice. We should go back before she gets. We should go before she gets back. Ah, we're breaking into her apartment. Okay. I didn't know what we were doing. Dude, it smells like ass in here. Ass and old feet. You smelling ass and old feet often, Larry? 
Good lord, we better make this a short visit. I can't take that stench for too long. Check out that painting. What if Packerton really does just work on a farm? I don't know. That painting gives me a weird feeling, like a cold chill. Oh well, yeah, I feel it too. Let's look around. The big thing are diapers. Do you think Mrs. Packerton uses them herself? Oh no. Probably, dude. Packerton's ancient. Dry bum bums. I don't like it. That's creepy. When's the last time she cleaned this bathtub? Bathroom. Gross. Big old log in there. Gross. The heck. Filled with rolls of bologna along with some frozen vegetables and other various foods. Anything strange in the fridge? No, looks like normal groceries and stuff, but there's padlock on freezer. Can you get it open? Yeah, just give me a minute. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to find something. Ah, got it. Let's open. Goat. Oh my god, sacrificial goat. So it is goat, but it's like she's... Oh no, that's creepy. I knew it. It is goat. I called that shit, man. Also gross. I feel like it can't be that simple. Let's see if we can get into those bedrooms. Alright. There's a lot of blood on the floor there. Yeah. What is that? The goat. Um, hi little buddy. Bah. Bah bah. Bah. Bah bah. Bah 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 bah. The hell was that? A ghost goat, apparently. Probably shouldn't be surprising to me at this point, but I definitely did not see that coming. What am I supposed to be listening for? sound the same? What's that? It's with the mechanism on the knob. That's a bizarre dot lock, dude. I'm not sure if I can pick it, but I'll keep trying. Search 201. That's what we are now. What was the clock? 314. Hmm. 1047 on the ear. What could that be? A code for something? This. Right? That's 1047. And that's now a ticket. Wait, were you here this whole time? This is a bizarre lock. To yeah, you were. Sorry. It's been, <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I was recording and I forgot you were there. That made me jump. Uh, oh, maybe this is... 1047 as well, doesn't that? 1047? No. Locked in a weird mechanism. Maybe there's some numbers in here. 1047. What else has a number? Thing in here. Green in the tub. Hey, 
Hey there, Mr. Goat. Ah, maybe this is something. Ba ba ba. Ba. Ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Ah ba 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 da 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 Sorry. Uh ba 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 There's time. Ba 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 That unlocked the first bedroom. Okay. Uh, there's someone in here. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. <gasps> Yo, it's like seven. Mm. I'm just keeping him alive in his nappy. Hello? Mr. Packerton? Hello? I don't think he hears you. You're right, it looks like he's in some kind of vegetative state. Man, this is... And definitely where that rancid smell's coming from, too. Yuck. Oh my god, the thing of nappies. I feel sick. Let's get a quick look around and get out of here. Yes, please. What are these papers talking about the death of Mr. Packerton? If he's dead, who's laying in the bed? What I want to know is why the hell are there so many shit-filled diapers in here? Seriously? What the F? Eh? I know what you mean. This apartment's making me super nauseous. You don't think she uses the... No, no, never mind. I don't even want to think about that. I think if the mystery ingredient was human shit, Todd would have seen some signs of it in the lab. I feel sick, dude. I guess so. Well, honestly, I have no idea. Let's hurry up in here. I really hope not. I will throw up. Are you Mr. Packerton? Blink if you can hear me. Hello? Oh my god, that's so awful. I hate that. That's creeping me out, dude. It's like the creepiest thing in the game so far. Just tied to the bed like that. Shh, ugh, ugh, ugh. Creeps. Hey, Sally Face. This sure is a shitty situation, isn't it? That's horrible. <laughs> Are we leaving? Do we pull the plug? Oh wait, maybe use my thing. Ah, maybe we're gonna like read his mind. Young child, please help me. How can you be? Are you dead? I am in between, suffering for what seems like an eternity. What's in the baloney? Baloney. I'm afraid I don't know much about that. This room is my prison, my tomb of infinite sorrow. I can never leave in this state. Did Mrs. Packton do this to you? We were in love once, or so I thought. Yes, this is her doing. Please, help me escape the endless agony. How? You must unplug this horrid machine. But isn't that... Wouldn't that... It will end my suffering. It will free me of this torment. But... Are you sure? Please, child, I beg of you, hurry before she returns. I feel like if someone's ghost came out and asked you to do that, and they're just in this state and suffering, it would be the right thing to do. Would you potentially have to wonder whether you were having an episode and, like, was hearing things and they didn't really want that? But also it seems like the world thinks this guy is dead and she's keeping him here for whatever reason, doing whatever it is to him. Um, yes. But let me know what you would do in a comment, I guess. It's an interesting thought. I hope that was the right thing to do. You didn't have a choice, man. Poor guy's in so much pain. It's what he wanted. I guess so, I just... Oh my god, she's home. Shit, she's back. Quick, behind the dresser. 
we don't make it out alive. I, I love you, dude. I love you too, man. You're the best friend I've ever had, you know? Same to you, little bud. Ah, oh, what a cute friendship. Also, they're so small. Oh, she found us? Oh, my days. Sorry to ruin the moment, but what the hell is this place? What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of us. I can see that. Oh, as if standing next to that doesn't just absolutely reek. You would gag so bad. Glad, hey, glad to see you, Ash. I thought we were done for. thought you had to watch Benjamin. My dad came home early. I rode over here straight away. Sorry for giving you guys a scare, right? Is that Mr. Packerton? Is he... It was him. He's gone now. Finally at peace. Damn. Please don't tell me this is what's going into the baloney. I hope not. I'm not sure. There's still one room we haven't looked in yet. We need to get in there before we leave. I'll check this out. While we were hiding, I found this key ring under the dresser. One of these keys has to open that other bedroom. Anything to get out of this room? Yeah, let's get out of here. This stink. We're in. What in the... Okay. What's that Morse code up there? Dot dash 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 dot dot dash dash dash. Is that like the key? Oh. My. God. <clears throat> this can't be good. Another damn combo lock. Ah, look, dot... Wait, is that dot dash one? Dot dot dot, four dots, one dot, one... One dot, four dot, one dot, three dot. So one dot is one. One, three, one... No, four dots. Four. Four dots. It's just the amount of dots? So it should be what? One. Four. One, three. I don't know if you even need the key for that. That's what we're eating. We're in way over our heads here. We need to get help. That's disgusting. There are no bones. What? There aren't any bones in here. It's all just... meat. Dude, no, come on. is right we should get help don't you see there's no one who could help us every time something happens here it's covered up the cult luke charlie mrs sanderson who knows what else this place has hidden we can't trust the cops and we can't tell our parents because i want to go to the police they haven't believed anything we've told them about what do we do i don't know man things just keep getting worse packton's chopping people up and serving them to i don't think i'll ever look at baloney the same again We didn't even examine the rest of the place. I guess I should have walked around before I opened that. Well? Well what? You asked why I don't eat the bologna and I've told you why. Of all the fantastical stories you like to spin, you're really not going to tell us what happened next. Why bother? You probably don't believe what I've said up until now anyways. And the story just gets more unbelievable from this point. Plus, you're probably going to cut it up and make me sound like a lunatic on TV. Give us the rest of the story. We'll air it in its entirety, without cuts. I promise. I heard you mention Todd Morrison's name before we started. Did you visit him? They won't tell me anything here. Yes, we shot a segment on him yesterday. Is he okay? Is he still... in the hospital? I'll tell you what, 
you finish the baloney story and I'll tell you about Todd. Before we left Miss Packerton's room, Ash noticed something else. Guys, come look at this. <laughs> Some kind of trash chute hiding behind that painting. That's weird. This building doesn't have trash chutes. Doesn't look like it goes outside. There's no light coming in. Ugh. Be careful, Ash. Creepy. Wonder where it leads. Ash. Ash, are you okay? Oh no, this can't be happening. Please let it be okay. We have to find where this leads. How are we? What are we? I'm gonna shimmy down. It's the only way. Dude, no, you're not thinking straight. What if you fall too or land on her? If she's still alive, that could kill her. Okay, yeah, you're right. Let's think. Iconino seto que la paso a smurf for You tinder fur, Mr. Fur. How do I read this? I don't understand. Is it like... Like, what is that? The first word. Ect, ectneo. Ni. Quan. Quano. Set. Settle. Settle. Settle kashlosh. Is. I get the is. The I and the S. Losh. Mrefrondon to die. I don't know how I'm supposed to read that. I know where it goes, apparently. What? How? Never mind, just get Todd and meet me in the basement. What's going on? Shao, what did you see? Is Ashley alright? Everything's gonna be okay. Come help me with this. No one's used this apartment in a long time. It's in rough shape, but Addison can't afford the renovations. It needs... it needs just like fifth floor. Is this what you saw in your vision, Shao? It doesn't work exactly like that. More like a feeling of heightened intuition. Alright, lead the way. I'll offer support wherever I can. It's locked. Wait, one of those keys from Pacton's look like old apartment keys. Try it out. Oh yeah. Perfect. Do, 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 do. There's nothing in here. I mean, there's nothing in here. Give me a minute. If there's nothing in here, but maybe my little gizmo can find something. No. Okay. Try the doors then. Oh, carpet. Carpet's torn up. Guys, come check us out. <gasps> Secret trap door, don't go down it. Dude. There must be an undocumented sub-basement level. It's definitely not in any of the blueprints I've seen. Perhaps an old dirt cellar or something of that like. I had no idea this is here. The third keys from Mrs. Packerton's fits in this door. Ash must be down there. It's the only place the chute could lead to. Man, so much is happening in this episode. It feels more like story-like than the previous ones. Let's go. Oh, so scary, dude. Oh, all the stuff you've seen in this place and you go down there. Is that the end? May our sight pierce the heavens, our reach be infinite and everlasting. Is this like the world of the Spike game? Well, this looks bad. Incredible. This architecture must date back multiple centuries at least. Centuries of blood and demon worship? This is freaky. Everything's coated in a thick layer of dust, which likely means the area is presently vacant and has been for a while. Let's hope that malevolent history of this place remains in the past. Yeah, well, we need to get through the gate. There appears to be an absence of any obvious mechanisms to move the large gate. They must be built into the walls, likely the apparatus for opening the gate is hidden. 
para split up. Runner, runner, goblins. What about this thing? An old leather-bound book with a symbol of a goat's head on the cover. The text is written in another language and the pages smell like rotten flesh. This book gives me an oddly strong sensation of deja vu. Okay, nothing here yet. It's a bit strange that a place like this has light bulbs. They must have been installed later on. This green bulb in particular is fascinating. I've never seen a bulb like it. How do you turn it on? That's another mystery. There are no visible switches. I've looked all around. Hmm. Clap your hands. Anyone ever had a clap light? I feel like it would be annoying. I tell you what though, it did like, not change my life, but what I have liked is I bought a light that has like a remote and I can like change the colors on it and everything. And that's good. I got that in here, and then I put one in the bedroom as well, because they're, like, really good. You can, like, change them and turn the light up and down. It's like a dimmer if you don't have a dimmer switch. So you can have, like, the light cooler. Or sometimes when I'm streaming, instead of... I used to stream with the light off, one of the perks of not having a camera. Now I would change it to, like, a green light or a blue light, which is kind of, like, relaxing sometimes. You know. It's nice. Not sponsored, just something I like using. A uh, symbol on the cover, a bird within a circle. The text is written in another language. Blood splattered on some of the pages. The book is burned across the bottom edge. Touching it makes me feel lightheaded, as if it's producing a strange energy. Aha. Uh -huh. A bulb. Maybe match the other side. It's an odd smell. What's this thing? I can't remember. A strange metal object I found in Miss Packton's desk. Maybe something with this. Like, combine it with something? Is that... Can we combine in this game? Can't remember. Um, also, there's like this here. How do I use the bulb? I'm going to give you the bulb to look at, Mr. Science. I can't show this to you. Maybe I just talk to you. Okay. I should have this out, really, shouldn't I? See if there's anything in here. What's all the spikes? Like, dude, you can't turn around without stubbing your toe. Shit hurts like hell. Do I put the bulb on something? May our sight pierce the heavens. Like, there's clearly something for it to go here. I just don't know how to do it. Okay, I worked it out. I had to fiddle for a bit and work out. I don't know why I wasn't doing it before, but it has popped up now. There we go. Put the light on, baby! Dude, those little obelisk thingies just got bigger. Scope it out. Two pulleys. Pulleys! Okay, we're gonna try and match that up. This definitely won't take too long. It's kind of... Make a lovely star. Oh! Well, that was easy. gonna close when I step off it. Dude! What are you trying to give me a heart attack? That scared the shit out of me. Sorry, I got the gate open for a second, but the switch won't stay down. Todd, come stand on this. 
Larry and I can go find Ash while you make sure we don't get locked in. Sure, I can do that. Why am I suspicious? Ready? No, but Ash is in there somewhere. Let's go. Be safe, you two. I don't want to lose anyone else down here. <laughs> Just start playing him really suspiciously. Looks like there are two ways. Better split up. I was afraid you were going to say that. Why do these things always happen to me? Am I playing as you now? Okay. This place is like a maze. Oh, okay, so I've got to find the right door, I guess. So those ones... Is that still comes out the same way? Okay, cool. Do I have anything in my pockets? Rock, lighter, key card. Oh, that looked like the right one. I'm in a different place now. I feel like that light is pointing here. No? Is that wrong? Can I, like, find my way somehow? Okay, that's the beginning. So we go in the second one. Don't we? Try the other door this time. Tell it apart, really. And that's back to the beginning. Okay. Try a different door. Ah, oh, there's only three. Right, so that one goes back to the beginning, so it has to be the middle one. Right, that takes us to somewhere else. Right? This is the one with the pointy thing. We go through that point. And there's another three. And I went through the end one last time. Go through the middle one. That comes out here. Through the pointy thing again. So maybe do the first one. But won't that take me back to the pointy... Right, so those loop. So it must be the end one. Right? Brings me here. One, two, three again. Try the middle under the chandeliers. Spike. Okay, back to the. Comes through here. Try the end. Beginning again. Right? So, beginning is plain. Try and be methodical about it. Beginning is plain. I go through the middle. Is kind of making a noise too. That humming definitely is. So hang on. Yeah. Okay. Listen for the hums. Nothing. Ah, Larry. Hum. I feel like I did that. I must have done that route. I don't know why that didn't come up. It's not my fault. No way. Okay. Right. Uh, I guess I'm getting all three of them down. But if I step on that one... That one... Ah! Oh. Take it. <laughs> it's just dancing back and forth on it. Oh, now I'm Sally. Okay. Hum. Hum. 
That one's humming again. I wonder if I'm supposed to go through it again. Hum, hum, hum. I like how I thought the broken lights were pointing at something. This time the hums doesn't seem to be working. Maybe now it's what's not humming. But shouldn't, isn't this like literally the same hallway as what Larry was in? Solid, solid black circle carved into the front from a different type of wood. Frail green pages covered in painted symbols. I can't make any sense of it, but it leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Hello. Another one of these. Let's see if I can dance my way through this one again. I feel like it's the reverse, right? So I have to do whatever it is on this side. Stay down, damn you. Bloody hell, eh? That one makes those go up. Ah! <gasps> oh, that was close. Stay down, you naughty switch. Come on. Go. Down. Let me do it. <sighs> hmm. So we're just sort of alternating between those. Two down, one up. Two down, one. Two down, one up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, <laughs> down. Up. Down, click the switch and find the way to make it go down in the hay. That one's stuck and that one isn't. Sipping on a switch, getting to the gate and god damn it. Ridiculous. Listen, I'm going to come absolutely clean with you there. I used a guide because I was stuck here for a very long time. That was ridiculous. That was the longest combination of foot presses uh, just that I've ever experienced in a game. That was absolutely ridiculous. It was about f three minutes of walking backwards and forwards across these switches. I would have been here all day. So, yeah, I used a guide there because I was completely stuck. <laughs> and I don't do well with those kinds of puzzles. I'm just going to be honest. So I looked that one up. Hey, good timing. I think we have to pull these leaves at the same time to open gate. Must have walked around in a big circle. The room behind that gate's the centre of this place. It's the last room. Ash has to be back there. I wonder if she's alive. Huh? What could this be? I think this weird hair. Ah, yes! From the desk. The hex from the desk. Whoa. It's in the room. <gasps> bones. Oh my god, that's where she throws the bones. You know, some of those heads are massive. Holy shit balls. Nothing. 
another book pedestal, but with nothing on it. So she must have come down here. I wonder if it would save you falling onto a big pile of bones, or if it would be dangerous. Ash! Ash, you okay? Ash? Is she... She's still breathing. Come on, help me get her up. Huh? She's awake? Oh, what's going on? Where are we? Dude, you fell down that stupid trash chute. I thought we lost you for good. I'm so glad we found you. You okay? Yeah, I think so. Just a little fuzzy and sore. No broken bones. Well, none of mine at least. <laughs> Man, Ash, you wouldn't believe what we went through to find you. It's all thanks to Sally. He had one of those vision thingies and he found this old cellar door in basement and we went down these long creepy stairs and we found this crazy ass cult temple or some shit down here and there were all these puzzles and traps and mazes and Todd. Todd's holding the front gate open for us. We should go back. This is so much to take in. I can't believe all of this is right below the apartments. Thanks for coming for me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Terrifying. Ah, he didn't lock us in. Alright, Todd, you earned my trust. So what are we going to do about all this? Mrs. Packton's killed a lot of people. And the baloney? Oh, you can't just ignore this. Definitely not. Judging by what you guys have told me about the inner rooms of the temple and about Miss Packton's apartment, it could be possible she's gotten herself wrapped up in the occult as well. Even if the congregation is long since dissolved, she could have stumbled upon this door just as we have. Or maybe she's the last remaining member, trying to carry out whatever the plans were on her own. You don't think she's trying to bring Red-Eyed Demon back, do you? Hopefully not, but we'll be prepared if she does. Man, we need to stop her. Preferably, like, before that happens. I know going to the local police isn't an option. Maybe we should call the state police or the FBI or something. At least this time our parents can't deny what's happening. They'll help us once we show them what's below the building and what Packerton's been doing. What if they're in on it, dude? Ash is right. We should get our parents involved. Maybe we should just kill her. What? Mrs. Packerton, maybe we should just kill her. She's old. It shouldn't be that hard. We can't just kill someone, Larry. We'd be no better than her. Normally I'd be against harming others, but in this case, Larry might be right. Todd, Larry, seriously, you guys. Think about all the strange, unexplainable occurrences that happen in the Addison Apartments and in Knockfell in general. The more I think about it, the less likely it becomes that Mrs. Packerton is acting alone. She must be getting outside help. It would explain the police cover-ups of Charlie and the Holmes family murders. There's no telling how far this corruption reaches. God damn. I guess that makes sense. Sal, you were saying something similar earlier today. I, I don't know, maybe this does fall on us to take care of it. Maybe. You know, the biggest worries normal teenagers have are about pretty petty things like pop being popular and having nice hair. Not us, though. We worry about saving the world. Stranger things. Are we going to kill an old lady? So what happened? We decided to sleep on it. It was nearly morning anyway, and everyone was beyond exhausted. And the teacher? What did you decide? Did you go to the police? Didn't have to. Turns out Packerton got into a car accident on the way home that same night. She and the other driver were killed on impact. Hmm. Wow. Convenient. You can look it up for yourself if you don't believe me. It was on the front page the next day. Beloved Knockville High teacher killed by drunk driver. Of course, you won't find anything about the dead bodies in her apartment or how she was feeding the students human flesh. That was all covered up. I see. I don't care if you don't believe me. It's the truth. You said you would air the full story. Don't worry, Sal. It'll be aired in full. I always keep my word, and I think the people will be very interested in what you have to say. Everyone's watching you now. You spoke with a great fondness about your friend Ashley. I understand the two of you are very close. You even considered her one of your best friends, along with Larry Johnson and Todd Morrison, is that true? Yes. 
Have you seen this? Sally Face kill a trial today for mass murder, including entire family. Sources say the prosecutor will call Ashley Campbell to testify against the Sally Face killer. Wow. Next. Tears. What about Todd? You said you'd tell me about Todd. Oh right, of course. We shot a segment on Morrison yesterday. He's still in the hospital after what happened that night. He's still out of it, unresponsive, still not talking. We couldn't have a conversation with him. We mostly spoke with his doctor. Sorry, Sal. Apparently Morrison hasn't shown any signs of improvement. In fact, his condition has been getting worse. They say the damage he suffered that night is irreversible. What happened? He doesn't know fantasy from reality and all he wants is to die. When he is denied the release of death, he becomes extremely violent. What happened to Todd? Maybe he did some experiments or something? I, I need to help him somehow. I need to help him. Even the doctors and trained professionals haven't been able to help Todd. How do you suppose you'll be able to? Because I know the truth. I know what really happened. I know what's wrong with Todd. Huh. What is wrong with Todd? Don't jump scare me. He doesn't- Die! No! God. Todd, please. <sighs> that was so scary. Oh, my heart nearly liked out my chest. Alright, we made it after that huge jump scare nearly fell out of my chair. There's some other videos on the screen if you want to go on another adventure right now, but also leave a comment real quick and let me know if you want to continue this adventure. If you want to see the next part, you want to hit that like and let me know. Alright, have a beautiful day. Bye.